Hello again from LastStandBrand.com. Early season, it's too wet to plow right now, so we're going to have to do some skull practice instead of uh, tromping all over the ground and compacting when it's too wet and cold. It's back again to selecting vegetables. Remember, that's the only thing we really control is our plans when we're gardening. So let's go back to our two standards. What's easy to grow, nutritious, and lasts a long time. Well, I think with a question like this, so many opinions, let's ask the question like this. What's trending on American dinner plates? Mm, it's a simple one. The top three vegetables sold and consumed in America are potatoes, tomatoes, and onions. Americans don't eat many vegetables. So those are the big three. So if we can trust society a little and uh, choose to grow potatoes, um, you'll make a lot of people happy. What we have here is a Dakota Pearl potato. You gotta see this. I've been growing potatoes for quite a while. They're usually the popular ones like uh, the Yukon Golds, the Detroits. None of them have the eyes in them like uh, this like this particular variety of potato. It was used by the settlers in the early Dakotas because it was so productive and it pushes through heavy soil. That's how it was selected by me, or uh, referred to me because of those characteristics, doing so well in the heavy soil. If you can see those. Most potatoes only have uh, four or five, six eyes on them. And what we're planting are the eyes, not the potato. Remember, this is uh, cut toward your buddy, not toward your body. Pretty tough to get a hold of. So let's see if we can cut one of these potatoes in front of you. Mm, perfect. There's one, two, three, four, five, six seven eyes on one side and one, two, three, four, five, six on the other. No, never seen a variety of potatoes that had so many eyes. Once these potatoes are all cut, we'll separate them and let them dry for three days. They actually cure, the wound in the, in the potato cures itself, seals itself, so that these eyes start to send out runners. Potatoes are peculiar things. They do not, uh, they do not send down roots. They send up shoots. Uh, well, that's the cutting lesson. I have uh, display here, which might help. See if you can get that a little closer into focus so you might be able to read some of it. Hmm. 
this is the level of the ground before you dig a trench to put the potato seed in. The ground is level and it's trenched out in order to put the potato in. You only cover it with a few inches of, of soil every three weeks, allowing the eyes to come up through the soil. As they come up through the soil, they'll put out the little tubers to cause the potatoes to grow. If you bury them in a typical fashion, just put them up to ground level, they won't have any place for the shoot to run. So we continuously add soil to the shoots. As they get taller, more soil is added to the shoots. So they have a greater opportunity to put out the side shoots and grow potatoes. Well, I think, I don't think I can get the other picture done for you. Let's see. Yeah. There's a shot of it. The seed potato is placed in a trench. After three weeks or so, the shoots should be up here. You'll add three more inches of soil. Following another three weeks, the shoot should be here and you add more soil, continually adding soil as the season, as the season goes along. They'll be ready when the tops die back on their own. A small apology for not being in the garden when these uh, planting these potatoes with you right now. Uh, someone didn't get the trench dug this autumn, and it's uh, far too wet to dig a trench now to plant potatoes. So, foresight would have been a lot better in my case. I didn't get the trench dug. Uh, should put those potatoes in. Um, in a week if the soil dries, which it uh, very well might. So this is Bill Randall at Last Stand Brand, inviting you to check our blog site if you have any questions and especially comments. Thanks very much.